Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're going to be teaching you how to download and install resource packs in Minecraft 1.17. We're gonna be going over every single step of getting resource packs in 1.17 from downloading them to installing them to how to find them if you don't have one and if you have one already, how to get more, how to install the one you have, all that. It's going to be covered in this video. Now I know it says 1.16 here. This is a 1.17 tutorial, uh, but the 1.17 video can't go right here until this tutorial is out. So when this tutorial comes out and you go to this website, you will see it right there. But first we do have a more sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Host. And go to the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to get your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We actually love and trust Apex so much that we host our own server, playdownbreakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to check out Apex, check out the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to get your own server up and running. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and look at 15 resource packs for Minecraft 1.17 because this is where we're going to be getting the resource packs we're going to be installing in this video. I'm going to show you how to install actually 1.16 resource packs in 1.17 and what that looks like for some of the 1.17 textures and all that as well. But we're going to be installing three packs in total here. First and foremost, we're going to be installing Faith this is one of my favorite packs of all time, so we're going to go ahead and just right-click on these and download on them, or right-click on this screen download button on all of them. So we're going to do that one. We're also going to go ahead and do, let's see, I think Sfax isn't updated yet, so we'll go ahead and do that as our 1.16 pack we're installing. And then I believe, let's see, Default 3D is actually updated, so go ahead and click on the green download button there as well. Now all these do have their own separate tutorials on our site, so once you do get to those, you can go ahead and click on the yellow download buttons on each of these. So this is uh, the default 3D here, and as you can see, we do have 1.17. Now, it is snapshot. Oh, it does actually say coming soon. I that, that was not expecting that. Okay, well, we can go ahead and download the 1.16 version, right like so. As you can see, default, download default 3D. There it is, and it go ahead and downloads in the bottom left. Now, we want to go ahead and move on to Faithful. This one is, if we go ahead and click download Faithful here, updated the 1.17 snapshot. That's basically going to be the one that, same as 1.17. 1.17, right? So let's go ahead and click on that. And then it's going to take us here where we can scroll down to the very, very bottom and we will see the download button right there. That's going to then download Faithful in the bottom left. And then last but not least, we're going to use Sfax Pure BD Craft. So we scroll down and click on the yellow download button there. It's going to take us off to where we can download the 1.16 version. And that's by design because the 1.16 version is what we want to uh, to test with. I'm going to download the 32X though. And uh, we can download with an ad here where we have to wait a few seconds. And after a few seconds after accepting the terms of use, we will be able to go ahead and download this after 15 seconds here. In that 15 seconds, we can actually, this might pause the video, but I do want to download the uh, the John Smith Legacy Pack as well. The reason for that is going to be because uh, this is 1.17 supported as well. They have a 1.17 version. So if we scroll down here, we'll be able to see Minecraft Java 1.17. And then we can go ahead and click on the download button there on that. And it will go ahead and start downloading in the bottom left. And then if we come back over here finally to Pure Craft, we can click the download button there as well. And it will download in the bottom left. So overall, we're installing four resource packs here today. It has taken a minute to download some of these. That's most likely because I'm using a ton of internet, moving a ton of videos for you all right now. So let me go ahead and do a quick jump cut until all these are finished downloading, and I will see you once they are. So there we go. All of our downloads are now finished in Google Chrome. As you can see, all these are downloaded. I'm getting a local car ad. <laughs> go ahead and minimize our browser here. And if we actually right click and refresh my desktop, all of these will appear here. You might need to do that. Right click and refresh your desktop, but most likely these are going to be found in your downloads folder. To do that, click on the little windows icon on the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that little windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen. Type in downloads. You have the downloads file folder here. And then in here, you will find the resource packs that you downloaded, whether it's, you know, all these that we downloaded or just some of them. You will find them all in here. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Now, one thing I will say is that we have an array of texture packs here for different ones. However, if you want even more texture packs, we have a video coming out very, very soon on the top five best resource packs for Minecraft 1.17. And you can subscribe to the channel if you want to get that. So please do subscribe if you haven't already. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get these installed. To do that, we want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher and then open up Minecraft 1.17. Nothing too fancy here. It's just literally latest release Minecraft 1.17. Don't overcomplicate that one. Just open up Minecraft 1.17. And I'll actually see you once we're on the main menu. Just because quicker, right? Gets us there, gets us the, through the tutorial faster. All right, so here we are on the Minecraft main menu. From here, go ahead and click on the options button and then click on resource packs. Again, from the Minecraft main menu, we're going to click on options and then resource packs. Once we're in the resource packs folder here, we want to click on open pack folder in the bottom left. Now, as you can see, a little tool tip pops up. It says place pack folders here, place pack files here. And the pack files it's talking about are these right here. It's these, it's these like, uh, these resource packs. Now, one thing I will say, we're going to see something most likely happen if we drag and drop these resource packs in here and then come back to Minecraft, they all appear, right? 
Sometimes though, they won't appear, right? Some of them are red, don't worry about that. Sometimes they won't appear. And if that's the case, it's because they're in a zip file that needs to be unzipped. For example, if we go ahead and open up Pure BD Craft here, you will see that we immediately see, as soon as we open it up, these files, assets, for example. Now, if you don't immediately see assets, you see another zip file, drag that zip file into the resource packs folder here, and then it will appear in game. So um, again, if you double click on any of these zip files, they should immediately see an assets or something like that in those files, right? As you can see, assets, there it is. All of them should have that as soon as you open them. However, here they are in game. We didn't even have to click done and go to resource packs. They just automatically appear and most resource packs just will do that. Now, as you can see, these are very easy. 1.17 and John Smith 1.17 being faithful, John Smith Legacy being the John Smith Legacy pack are both 1.17 compatible. However, Pure BD Craft and Default BD are not, and I'm going to show you what to do with those. First though, to enable a 1.17 compatible pack, just go ahead and click on the little arrow here. It's going to move it over here into the selected section. Click done. It's going to reload Minecraft and boom, it is going to be installed. It's that simple to install resource packs. You can see the buttons have changed here. We can actually go ahead and jump into game and I'll just show you that this is working in game. You can change resource packs in game as well. So it's good to know that and I'll I'll show you how to do that once we get in here as well with the 1.16 packs and other 1.17 packs and how to stack resource packs. This is going to be really cool what we're about to show you. So anyway, here we're on game 1.17 compatible. That is definitely not the default texture. Now let's go ahead and install a 1.7 or 16 pack. Specifically, we're going to use pure BD craft here. If we go ahead and move that over, it's going to give us a warning. This was made for older Minecraft. It might not work. That's okay. Let's go ahead and click yes. It's going to move it over here. And we're going to uninstall or not run install, but unselect the, uh, or the faithful resource back there. And there we go. So now we click done. It's going to reload. And it's going to enable Sfax pure BD craft, but, but some textures won't work. Specifically amethyst, right? That does not fit. That is the default texture there. Now, one thing that's interesting about this is if we wanted to change that, which we're using an older pack, we can actually do that. So we go ahead and click over 1.17, which is faithful here, and move that below Pure BD Craft and click done. We'll notice that the amethyst is going to change, but it's going to change to the faithful resource pack. See that? That's now the faithful resource pack. It looks a bit better stacked under the uh, the Sfax resource pack. So basically, Sfax Pure BD Craft, if it has that texture, it's going to go with it. If it doesn't have the texture in Sfax, it's going to go with the next one down, which would be a faithful there. And then if faithful, for whatever reason, didn't have it, it would then go to default. Now, you can do this with 1.17 packs as well. For example, if you have a 1.17 pack and it has, you know, just armor, it just has custom armor and weapons in it, you could add that over another resource pack and it's going to use the armor from the custom one, but all the other textures from the other resource pack. Default 3D would work the same here, by the way. Go ahead and get the error. That's okay. Go ahead and click yes. It's fine. And then click done. It's going to reload Minecraft again. And then it's going to show just like it did before, right? It's going to show that you are in game and you have 1.17 textures that are faithful, right? All of these are default 3D. Look at that, the, the grass coming off, that's default 3D. This is faithful. If we were to remove faithful from over here, move it back over, these are gonna change back to default, right? They're gonna change back to the default texture. And um, yeah, that's kind of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just let this reload. It takes a minute, so one second. There we go, now reloading. And as you can see, it is now back to default. Last but not least, I'm not gonna harp on this too much. I just think it is really, really cool. We can go into resource packs and we can go over to John Smith Legacy, move this over on top of default 3D and default 3D is gonna completely disappear. And all the blocks are gonna be John Smith Legacy 1.17. So every single block is now changing. It's adding in a new texture for all those different blocks, re-rendering the world around us. And boom, this is John Smith Legacy for 1.17. But even John Smith Legacy seems to have some issues. So this is actually very interesting here and something we can check out. You see these blocks up here? These are errored out blocks, meaning John Smith has them, but they're not completely updated. And uh, it actually seems like what's happening is that default 3D is interfering with John Smith Legacy. I'm guessing if we were to remove default 3D, that would be fixed. Now, one thing I will say, that's going to happen. You're going to have these different issues if you're running multiple resource packs together. And if you see that sort of pattern, that's what's happened. Those resource packs are having issues or the block doesn't exist. Reach out to the pack developer if that is the case. As you can see, that is now fixed and John Smith Legacy is installed. So really, really cool stuff. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome Minecraft content every single day of the week and come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Minecraft 1.17, amazing survival, completely custom, built from the ground up in 1.17. Aquatic survival, absolutely incredible. Custom skyblock. Come play with us. Play at our breakdowncraft.com is the IP. I will see you online. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I'm out. Peace.